Taurus, welcome. This is your heart spread read. This is for December 2021 using the Gilded Terror Royale. The heart spread, it reads uh, the, you and the person on your mind, um, the person in your heart. Uh, <clears throat> it's eight cards. I look at you and your person first, and that's the first house, the seventh house in astrology. Seventh house where we project typically our desire for the other. Um, for me, it's Pisces. I'm a Virgo rising. So uh, then we're going to look at uh, advice from spirit and how you guys are interacting. Get a advice for the relationship if, if it's going to be a relationship and the outcome here. Um, let's see what we got, Taurus. I think uh, December is going to be a banging month, guys. All right. I'm reading this today on the, uh, doing this reading on the 21st for the 22nd. Not really, and I'm calling it for December, but um, today Scorpio is at 29 degrees. The sun is at 29, so um, that's the tail of the scorpion. So let's see how that plays out. Hopefully something's ending that needs to be ended. Okay, guys, the Eight of Swords energy. So this is you in and around love and relationships, Taurus, uh, where your mind is at, where your heart is at. And, um, you know, Eight of Swords, trapped in our mind. Um, I read this in isolation from your person, so this is not about your person. What I'm trying to do here is uh, get a baseline for kind of where you're at. And people have asked me, Dave, I, I know where I'm at, you know, why you do this. Number one, so you can see if this is resonating, if you want to waste your time on watching. Um, and if it's not, do check out the Soul Family Read, which I do daily uh, as a collective read for whoever resonates. More about spirituality and manifestation. Um, <clears throat> but so this has to do with the past relationship. And you can see she's even, the way this is reading is that she's kind of got her head, like she's kind of looking back. She's got her back to the past. So she's not quite going into the for, uh, future because she's kind of looking back. At the past, if she's wanting, if she's wanting somebody to come, that's kind of the energy of the sword. You want somebody to come and relieve you of this energy, and uh, it's definitely the energy that we're stuck in ourselves. Um, that's definitely from a past relationship. So, it's a tough energy to go into a new relationship with because you're literally kind of carrying uh, that energy from the past with you. You know, you don't have to. You can let it go, um, and this is in your thoughts. So. Um, you'd be going into a new relationship thinking a lot about the past one. A lot of times then it can be triggery and you'd be thinking, uh, well, what is this person? Are they going to do what the last person did or what all the last people did? I think with the Eight of Swords, too, it often speaks to cycles, eight. Um, so you could have gone, whatever happened to you in the past relationship, it might be similar to what happened to you in others, no? My God, and your person has the Nine of Swords. So very similar. The difference between the Nine of Swords to me is in the Nine of Swords, you're dealing with it. So it's sitting with your emotion, which is, is the right thing to do. Um, it's not running away from them. It's not fun. Like you might be up all night because you can't get your mind off of what the problem is. So I kind of see that as good. The Nine of Swords, you're getting close to the Ten of Swords. You're being done here, this person. But you, is this is really being lost, kind of lost in that trap. You don't know what to do. There's no way to read this other than you guys came together commiserating about your relationships. Overall energy, it's the king of wands. I get the feeling this might be the person. Like maybe you guys have similar stories. I hate to say it, but you could both be dealing with narcissists. I don't know. I'm not saying the king of wands is always a narcissist. No. But here, I just get the feeling. He looks a little malevolent, if you can see that well. This one, right? This is your uh, uh, Gilded Terror Royale deck. Um, so do read that lightly. Uh, but you're a little more lost, a little fresher for you. Your person's kind of more dealing with it. They've kind of seen the way forward. Um, they're almost done with their situation. So the way I see this working is they would be giving you guidance, you know? And, but still, it means a little bit like the blind leading the blind here. So let's see where this goes. 
okay? Um, definitely commiseration energy. Yeah, and you're in the relationship now, reacting to them. This shows how you're reacting to them. And with the seven of cups, it's like you're emotionally confused. Um, you're not certain. Um, you're kind of in, you're kind of out. But when you come in with this energy, it's like it'd be just about impossible to be all the way in. So it kind of makes sense. It's not really saying there's anything wrong with your person. It's kind of saying there's something wrong with your mind right now, where your mind is at. And then, so, of course, where our mind is, and then we follow. And emotionally, you're just not able to get a grip. Now, your person. Interesting. So, this would, if it was facing you, it'd be a little different. But this is facing them, facing their nine of swords with their cup. And this is their energy towards you. How are they feeling about you? How are they reacting to you? Again, I think they're... They might be a little bit older than you, that you might see them as being a little more stable, um, that kind of thing. Um, they're a page of cups is kind of perfect here, especially if it's a new relationship, you know, because it's not like, oh my God, I want to marry you. You're the only one. I've been waiting for you all my life. It's more like, wow, I'm really interested in you. I'd like to get to know you, or it can be I love you, but it's like in a kind of balanced, sensible way. It's a good, it's a perfect way to start a new relationship, but it's like they're looking back at themselves. So I got this feeling, if you're cross-watching, spill the beans and tell me, leave me a comment. But I got the feeling like they might have more feelings for you than they're letting on. Like almost like this could just kind of be like a friendship thing. There's a lot of advice and this is why you're so fuzzy. You're asking, asking yourself, is this person interested in me? Like as a man or as a woman? Or are we, what are we doing? And maybe you don't feel like you can ask. And maybe they're not saying because it's going the other way. But rest assured they're interested in you, okay? I think they are. They're just not saying it. And, you know, maybe for obvious reasons. Because maybe you guys are still like, one or both of you could still be in your relationship with this energy. This could be the other person. Now, because this is in a position of advice for you in relationship to your partner, what this means is let the tower fall. In some way, this is speaking to your past relationship, I believe. It's don't try to keep the tower up. What does that mean? If your ex or the person you're with, this person that's got you in this eight of swords energy, is saying, come on, we can make it, or come on, don't be a dig, don't be a bitch, you know, listen to me, do what I want, you know, just let it end, you know, I think there's an ending coming, and you know, it could be around this person here that you're with, this could be like an affair too, I don't know, if you're not single, um, or it could be really, I'm sorry, what this really reads like, like an emotional affair, like this person, you know, there's the studies that have been done, uh, when we a relationship gets so bad that we begin to feel it's untenable, uh, we naturally begin to reach out, and make bridges. Sometimes just with family and friends, we tight, do a little bit of the tighten up because we know it's coming. We didn't need them to rely on. Um, could be a little bit of that energy. So you're starting to make that bridge. It's kind of like in the in the area of like an emotional affair because you're feeling something for them. You're not really sure what it is. You're not really sure about how they feel. They're not really telling you. I think they're into you, you know. Um, huh. You're both, okay, very similar advice to the tower, actually. I like it, actually, because you're corresponding. They need to walk away. And this comes under the Page of Cups. And again, I keep emphasizing this Page of Cups is looking, is not looking at you. It's looking back at the Nine of Swords. So they need to walk away from their relationship, from what's going on in in their mind and for them it may involve emotions too like maybe they still have emotions for this person um i don't see with you really having emotions so much for your person um and so with it's more like with you you have to walk away from your mind you need to get actually you need to get into nine of swords energy you can do that right now watching this reading just own it like say Taurus, like, yeah, this relationship is not working for me. I'm not happy. I'm feeling uh, uh, oppressed, uh, this kind of thing. Um, and so you can just begin to let it go. I think this could be an opportunity to let it go. Like your your spouse or your person is going to say to you, what's going on here? We had it. It's your opportunity to say, yes, I'm done. 
really is coming strong. For them, they just need to walk away. You know, you both need to do work with your person to get together here if there's going to be a together. I don't know. This is an interesting card to get here. Three of Wands. Now, this is in the position of advice for the relationship as a whole. It shows to me, like what I just said, you both need to walk away from something. Because Three of Wands is not only looking for your ships to come in, it's action. You know, you have Two of Wands or action. Two of Wands is a choice of an action, one action or another action. And this shows you guys the advice from Spirit is to take action. Both of you take action. And I, I got to think, it's like, uh, I know this is not the classic advice and it's codependent maybe. Uh, but often this is what happens, you know, uh, let's see what the outcome is. But it could be that there's not going to be much of a separation here. Like with this Three of Wands, it's interesting because it's advice from Spirit is uh, for you guys to come together and come find each other. Take action to move into each other's lives here. Like you could say, too, um, it, because this is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole, I could say that maybe both of you have found what you're looking for in the other you know your ships have come in your ships have come in towards their ships have come in and you are theirs and they are yours wow i got this in the last reading and i how could you i shuffled before we even started interesting now um this is strategic thinking lying cheating stealing and it is looking uh, away, it is walking away from, um, for you, towards walking away, walking towards this person. So I think again, boy, it's a similar, I got to have a similar interpretation. Well, you've got so many swords here, it actually makes more sense. Um, and this is cutting, it's coming between their page of cups, which is looking the other way. They're not really being, and maybe it's okay. Probably, maybe it's good that they're not really, hey, I really love you. Because right now you guys are dealing with so much with the other person. But I think they do. And the fact that it's looking right at their page of cups. <sighs> dealing, I told you, they're walking away from their person. You're going to accept this tower. And, 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 you know, the tower sometimes can be really good. I mean, it really can. It doesn't have to be something terrible. You know, it could be like, oh, thank God, finally this is over type of feeling. Um, and so, but the only thing with the tower, it's a lot of times out of our hands. So this is your person who finds out you've been texting and instead of you going, Oh my God, no, no, I really love you. Don't just like, Oh yeah, you're, I have been texting this person. and I'm really not happy with our relationship and the way you treat me. I'm very unhappy. Um, and this is definitely strategic thinking, which typically comes after cheating, lying and stealing. So I think with both of you in the swords uh, energy, and they've been dealing with cheaters and liars and stealers, okay? Um, and you're uh, walking towards this page. Um, I think it's going to take, uh, particularly on your part, I think they're a little clearer. Like, they just have to get emotionally clear of their person, which is, I say just, it's not always that easy. Um, but it can be done. I really like this Three of Wands down here for you guys. And it's going to take a little bit of time. And you're going to have to think strategically here. And even with that tower, it's st think strategically. So when this tower moment comes, really it's see it. It's going to come a moment when maybe your person turns to you. Maybe with this energy too, you could just be having trouble even just saying to them, I'm unhappy. You're just stuck in yourself. Maybe that's the value of talking to this person. You start talking to this person and it makes you realize how unhappy you are. And they're sharing your story. And I got to tell you, this is your reading. Your stories are probably similar. Both of you probably dealing with this uh, narcissist. Maybe both of you dealing with a fire sign personality. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. That's strong. And um, let me get a, a, a clarifier for that outcome. <laughs> I love it. Okay, guys. This makes it super duper clear. We're clarifying a seven of swords. With the final outcome being a full. You're going to take a chance. I tell you, you know, uh, screw all the norms and codependence. Relationships, how we love and grow, and are not always perfect. We don't always move into them when we're perfect. And so, you guys, it's going to be uh, tricky. The Seven of Swords is going to be tricky. It's going to be a lot of tricky energy. It could be some deceit on your part. 
they may have to say something you may have to say something not exactly true uh, because you're dealing possibly with the narcissist here possibly definitely someone who's abusive doesn't have your best interest at heart um, and then with the fool it's just do it just go for it you're gonna start something new here I think this is gonna be really good for both of you guys Taurus um, and I absolutely love the fool it's like my favorite card Dinah and um, Another thing with the fool is the outcome. Rest assured that this Taurus is going to be like nothing else you've ever dealt with. Again, I'm thinking you're dealing with patterns here. Could have been this here person, this narcissist. Maybe he's not the first one. And maybe it's not the first time you found yourself in Eight of Swords. Which is kind of like, I've been there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like you can't get out. It's like you can't get out of the relationship for some reason. You feel stuck. You know, but something's going to come in. This is advice from spirit. It's going to kind of give you a, it's going to open the door for you. Walk out, take a chance, you know, throw yourself off the cliff and start this new cycle, which is, uh, I got a feeling it's going to be good. So, um, thank you guys. Uh, let me know what you think of that. Do leave a comment, like, uh, tell friend, tell friend, and feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you. Thank you.